Paella valenciana, señores. ¿Sí? Valencia en paella. Yes. Welcome to Valencia, where every meal is like a flavor-packed adventure. You know the city isn't just famous for its stunning architecture and lively festivals. It's also a foodie paradise. As the birthplace of the iconic paella, this vibrant city has earned its culinary stripes on the world stage. From classy bars to Michelin stars, Valencia offers a diverse array of dining experiences that cater to every palate and occasion. As a couple of laid-back travelers, we love to take our time enjoying good food and great company. None of those long queues and overpriced eats for us, thank you very much. So, if you're wondering where to find the best spots in Valencia for those special occasions, you're in luck. Hey guys, I'm Paul. And I'm Bea. And this is Everything is Bofo. Get ready to eat your way through Valencia, one delicious bite at a time. We're gonna start off with Begin Restaurant, which is a reasonably priced restaurant which offers a healthier menu. So you won't see any fried foods or any sodas offered in, this, in their menu. Uh, you'll see like natural fruit juices um, and then like locally sourced like organic produce and in their website they also say that they're committed to working hand in hand with their breeders so that they ensure that the animals are treated humanely. So I, I really like to begin not just for date night because we most of the time when we go there it's usually lunch time so date lunch. Yeah. <laughs> But it's, it's a nicer, I think it's a little bit more of a nicer ambiance than your regular bar or restaurant that you usually see in Valencia. So I think the way that they, uh, they're always busy, number one. So you have to make your reservation for this. And then I guess it's also very popular because of like how, I would say how unique the menu is. Like I said, there's not a lot of fried food, which is sometimes hard to come by. So if you are looking for um, a healthier menu, this is the place to go. Right. And well, do note that this is one of the only places that we've ever been to that you can't do sobremesa in. Well, sobremesa is a tradition in Spain where when you order, you can just stay there for as long as you want. Here, the turnover is high because there's a lot of people waiting. So they, I think they give you about like an, an hour, hour and, and a half, half yeah. to have your lunch. So if you're not bothered by that, then, you know, go ahead. Um, but if you are wanting to stay for a lot longer with your friends, this might not be the restaurant for you. And if you have trouble sitting down, some of the seats might not have um, enough cushioning. So oh, Yeah, it's made of stone. It's so cool though. Now that I remember, yeah, you're right. It's so cool. It's nice. It's all white with some like wood and bamboo and all that. I think it's bamboo. But yeah, it, it's really nice. It's cute, but it might not be very comfortable. But this is a good uh, this is a good spot for sure to try out. We're gonna enjoy it. Yeah. All right. So what did we eat? I got from what I remember, I got that chicken uh, rice bowl dish the first mm -hmm. time, and then for the second time, I got the tandoori pizza, which I really enjoyed. Yeah, and then we had for starters, we had the Creole corn, which is kind of like the elote. Actually, it is the elote. And we also had tacos al pastor for starters. I think um, our friend Jennifer ordered the Iberian secret bao, which was also good. But these are all like small plates. For my main course, I had, I had the wild tataki tuna, which was very delicious. And then for the second time I went there, I don't remember. Sorry. It's in the pictures. If we find it in the pictures below, Paul's gonna put the the name on it and then for dessert we had the who got my coconut which was very tiny coconut so it wasn't really something that you can share <laughs> you had a juice right they had the papaya cucumber something what? it was so, Not tropical dream yeah but it has papaya and um, red grapes. grapes yeah so it's a mixture of those first time i was kind of it was new to me but then i enjoyed it so that was good. Yeah. So the only thing I would mention, I guess, the reason why I say it's reasonably priced, it, it is reasonably priced, but the plates are quite small. So I think you're gonna need to have an appetizer or a couple of appetizers along with your main course because I remember leaving there 
and not feeling too full, which I think is a good thing because they are a healthy restaurant. So, you know, the, the goal is to, you know, put the right nutrients in you, right? <laughs> right? No? <laughs> Another restaurant by Ricard Camarena that we finally got to try this year is the Canala Bar in Rosafa. We were there with some friends and we had, I had like the crunchy cone, it's a, how do I say it? It's a Japanese cone, right? But yeah, because it has wasabi and salmon avocado. Yeah. yeah, avocado, salmon, wasabi, but it's in a crunchy cone instead of like the seaweed. So that was, that was a cool one. Um, and then we had some pizza. And they also had this pastrami sandwich that was quite big, I think. It's not as big as Cat's Deli from New York. Pastrami sandwiches, of course, obviously, that's in the league of its own. But I think it was like a nice, good size. Uh, if you're hungry, it's a, it's a good size sandwich. It's nice and like, pretty thick too. So I think if you're craving for a pastrami sandwich, Canala Bistro will have it. No need to fly to New York. Now, if you are going to want to have a nice dinner with a nice view, this next one is highly recommended by us and it's called El Mirador at the Only You Hotel. So this is by the Ayuntamiento, so it's right in the heart of the city of Valencia. You'll see a little bit of like the, when, when you're there, you'll see like the skyline of the city. So it's a nice spot to kind of just, you know, it's a nice way to view the city aside from just walking around, right? Yeah, they have a menu del dia for lunch only, but we go there for dinner with our friends because it's a really nice, it's a fancier spot. When you order the paella, which we usually recommend to our guests, it's pretty good. It's not a bad price for the for the venue and for the views. So I think the paella valenciana um, is a must order. Yeah, for sure. Chicken, hey, this is rabbit. This is rabbit, okay? And this is rabbit. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Phenomenal. Okay. This is a croquetas de jamón con lluvia de parmesano. It's my favorite place. Wow, that looks good. Okay, so. Enjoy. Yeah, so good. You like it? Okay, the lemon crunch. I'm set up, grab it. <laughs> Sugar paper. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Yes. What is this? Oh, the tarta de queso gorgonzola was good, but I think it was very strong. Wasn't it? For me, it was good. Yeah. I like strong. Speaking of strong, their tinto de verano is. Also Excellent very good. Too. Must try. Dos Estaciones in Rosafa is the next one on the list. We went there for my birthday and they had a tasting menu. And we got the one that was, I think about the mid-range one. We didn't get the cheapest one, we got the second, um, second tier one. And it's a nice, cozy little restaurant in Rosafa. I think there were only maybe five or six groups of us, something like that, right? Um, if you don't count the seating outside. Um, and it's fine dining. They are a Michelin guide. They are on the Michelin guide. And they even had a maitre d' who um, 
told us about the wines that they had and um, suggested, uh, get, explained to us the food that we were receiving because it's all in Valencian. satisfied you know like sometimes you don't know what you're gonna get with the tasting menus because you obviously they take so much care in creating these flavors but of course usually like the plates are very very small but with this one I remember feeling very satisfied and we love the flavors of what we had so yeah it was a great 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 experience definitely highly recommended and then we just paid extra for the wine but still everything cost us just uh, about a hundred euros which is great for a birthday dinner next up is lienzo which is actually a michelin star restaurant and we had the pleasure of dining there with our friends christine and mike who Every time they travel, actually Mike told me this, that every time they travel to a different place, they always look for a Michelin star restaurant because, you know, you get to enjoy the local cuisine at 
the way it should be enjoyed. Okay, so for for this restaurant, it, it, everything is white. I remember because lienzo means canvas, and I think it's supposed to be like an art gallery. So all the ways, all the walls were white, and there were paintings hanging up. It was also like white tablecloth, fine dining. Everything was explained to us. Each dish that we got. We got the smaller menu with 10 courses called pin, Pinciladas and um, their menu centers around honey and bees so it, it was just a lot of dishes inspired by honey and pollen and honeycomb so we got a lot of that and I think it, it's um, that the chef is very passionate about like preserving the honey bees so I, they have their own Farm. farm. Yeah. Bee farm. Yeah. We're going to start with the menu. We always try to remind you. <laughs> so here we're going to have our next snack. We're going to just a especially from there, from Madrid. And then you're going to have to give us a really tiny excellent so here we're going to have our next snack in the base we're going to then we're going to find an eel on top and to finish up our oh wow Wait, yeah. and then eel right okay, okay. I was like, ooh, this looks like spring rolls. It's 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 stay there, so they let it go. Yeah. Got like a cream pot. But a savory cream pot. Okay, first one. We're gonna follow with our next vinegar and a cauliflower cream marinade with thyme vinegar, cauliflower bowl, and crispy cauliflower. Yeah, they all look the same. Exactly. So here we have our classic. We have a squid, a squid that we have cooked at low temperatures, and we have a company with dashi. Okay, she said to break it. Just break it. That's what they said. Break it. And then mix together. Uh, we using the liver of the St. Sebas. And now we go with the lamb, okay? The lamb from here, from Valencia, we make a slow temperature boiler with the lamb demi glass sweet gnocchi, purple potato, and you have the black lemon foam. The black lemon is aligned, we boil it with salt and water, and put in the sun for six months. Char black, and the flavor are toast and balsamic, okay? Enjoy, thank you. Thank you. It never loses, it never gets dry. <laughs> yeah. if you put it in the oven, now we're gonna finish with our last dishes to be the dessert. Urban honey. Why urban honey? Because here in uh, Spain are banned all the wine honeycombs near to the city. A uh, piece of memory of our chef, she always told us when she went to recollect them with his family. She always cut a piece of wine honeycomb like this, chewing during the recollection like a tree gum. Whether you, you know, learn a product, it's like a very small part of the people's strawberry gel. The one could be a financier with uh, Garo. So if you are visiting Valencia for the first time or you live here and you're looking for a Michelin star restaurant, Lienzo is highly, highly recommended. So just keep in mind with these restaurants, they get fairly busy because they are popular, especially for the Michelin Guide and the Michelin star restaurants that we mentioned. So plan ahead, book your reservation and enjoy that fine dining experience. So that's it. I hope this list helps you out. And we're always on a hunt for good food spots. So we would love it if you put your favorite food spot that we didn't talk about in the comment section below. Maybe we can make a video out of it too. Thank you so much for all the subscribers who patiently wait for us to shoot out a video. And thank you also for supporting our channel um, by liking and subscribing and also for buying us a coffee or the super thanks um, on YouTube. And if you want to know more about moving to Spain, you can also join our Facebook community. We can't wait. We can't wait to see what you guys are going to suggest 
Um, if you want to know more about living in Valencia or in Spain, you should watch this next video. Here. It's not here, it's here. Thank you, bye!